camels. Hello there, animal lovers. Today, we are going to learn about camels. If you want to follow along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a camel? Have you ever wondered how camels survive in the scorching desert? Well, they can survive because of some unique traits. Camels have long legs that help them walk across the desert sand easily. Their bodies store fat in humps, which they use as a source of energy when food and water are scarce. They also have thick fur to protect them from the hot sun and sand. Plus, they can close their nostrils to avoid getting sand in their noses during storms. Their long eyelashes and ear hairs also help keep sand out of their, well, eyes and ears. Camels typically live in groups called herds, which provide them with protection and social interaction. These herds consist of females and their young, and a dominant male that leads the group. They are well adapted to life in harsh environments, such as deserts in Africa and Asia, where temperatures can be extremely high during the day and very low at night. When it comes to caring for their young, camels are very attentive. A mother camel, also called a cow, will nurse her calf for up to 18 months, providing it with essential nutrients. Calves can walk shortly after birth, but stay close to their mothers for protection and guidance. The bond between a mother and her calf is strong, ensuring the calf learns to find food and water in the harsh desert environment. This nurturing behavior helps young camels survive and thrive in their challenging habitats. What do camels eat? Camels are herbivores, which means they eat plants instead of animals. But there aren't many plants in the desert, so camels must eat whatever they can find. They spend a lot of their time searching for plants to consume. When they find a good spot with enough food, they use their strong necks to reach high branches or bend down low to the ground. They munch on dry grasses, leaves, and even thorny plants that other animals might avoid. Camels have tough lips and strong teeth that help them chew these rough plants without getting hurt. These furry mammals also have unique stomachs that help them survive in the tough desert environment. Their stomachs have three chambers, which allow them to break down the rough, dry plants more efficiently. This multi-chambered system allows camels to extract the maximum nutrients from their food, even when food is sparse. When a camel eats, the food first goes into the rumen, where it is partially digested and then regurgitated as cud. The camel chews the cud thoroughly before swallowing it again, allowing for better digestion. By doing this, camels get the most energy possible from their food. Other interesting facts. One fascinating fact is that camels can go for several days without water. They have special cells in their bodies that can store water in a way that allows them to survive in hot deserts where water is hard to find. When they do drink water, they can drink up to 40 gallons in one go. This amazing ability keeps them hydrated for long periods. Another interesting fact is that camels have wide padded feet that help them walk on sand without sinking. Their feet are like snowshoes, spreading their weight evenly to travel across soft, shifting desert sands. Camels also have a unique way of walking called pacing where both legs on the same side of their body move forward simultaneously. This gait helps them move smoothly and conserve energy during long journeys. Camels are also known for their ability to adapt to extreme temperatures. They can handle both scorching heat and freezing cold. In the hot desert sun, their thick fur protects them from sunburn and keeps them cool by reflecting sunlight. During cold desert nights, the same fur keeps them warm. Additionally, camels can change their body temperature to avoid sweating and losing precious water, showing how well-suited they are to their environment. Why are they important to the environment? Especially in desert regions, camels are very important for the environment. They help people by providing transportation, 
carrying heavy loads across long distances where cars can't go. This makes it easier for people to travel and trade goods. Camels also provide milk and meat, essential food sources for many desert communities. Their ability to survive in harsh conditions makes them vital for people living in the same desert habitat. Camels are not currently endangered, but they do face some challenges. Habitat loss and climate change can make it harder for them to find food and water. Some wild camel species, like the Bactrian camel in Asia, are endangered because only a few are left in the wild. People are working to protect these animals by creating reserves and breeding programs to ensure they don't disappear. By caring for camels and their habitats, we can help them continue to thrive and support the people and ecosystems that rely on them. Fun fact. Did you know the United States military experimented with camels in addition to horses in the cavalry? You heard right. Camels. In 1837, shortly after the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo ended the war between the United States and Mexico, Major George Crossman suggested the start of a camel corps to help manage the desert territories in the Southwest. They hoped that camels might replace horses and mules. Cavalry horses had a difficult time adapting to the hot, arid climate and sandy soil. Although the Camel Corps was never officially constituted as a U.S. Army unit, this is the name by which the experiment is most commonly known. We just learned a bunch of cool camel facts. Let's review to see what you remember. 1. Why can camels go without water for days at a time? Because they have special cells in their bodies that store water. Two. Choose the word the author would say best describes the camel. A. Frail. B. Poisonous. C. Adaptable. D. Nocturnal. E. Prey. That's right. C. Adaptable. 3. True or false. Camels are carnivores. If you said false, you're correct. Great job, everybody. If you liked learning with us, make sure to head over to learnbright.org for even more interesting lesson plans about your favorite animals. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.